we're going to be using this key and sensor to reject caps that are not properly placed, so they'll be higher, and when there are no caps present. If you look at here, you have out one, out two. When this either one or two are lit, it's giving a signal to a valve, and that would trigger this air cylinder, and it'll reject the bottom. The way this sensor is set up, you, it's going to be set up with areas. So you're going to have, when you have the bottle properly placed, you're going to have the height that it's going to be reflected on the sensor. It's going to be a certain measurement. When the bottle is, when the cap is crooked or not completely torqued, it's going to be higher. So we're going to set up the sensor to read an area above the uh, cap and then below the cap which is going to read this so it's going to read the difference in height between the cap and the bottom to adjust the sensor we took the air out so we're not getting the bottles knocked over so we're going to set up to adjust the area you're going to have this little number here one and two which is going to be your upper area and then you're going to have that's one and two then you have one blinking and two blinking, which is your lower area, okay? So, we're gonna reject the top area. Top area, when you place a bottle right now, it's reading 700. So I'm gonna put something a lot higher. I'm gonna put it at 900. That is your top area. And then, when the bottle's properly capped, it's reading 700. From 696 to 700. So, to adjust the height when it's not properly capped, we're gonna put it at, let's say, 704. So I'm gonna click mode, go into two, and it's gonna be, I'm gonna adjust it to 704. So you see how the output light came on? That would, re that would turn on the valve and it would reject. I'm gonna thread it in. As soon as I thread it, the uh, output one disappeared. So that's how you set up your upper part of your uh, reject area. So right now we're gonna take off the cap. We're gonna put the edge of the cap you can see the little light there. I don't know if you see it on the camera, but there's a little light there. And we're reading from 674. After we set up the upper detection area, we're gonna set up the lower detection area. If you take off the cap and you look for the light on the edge. There it is. So we're going to read that height. When the bottle's passing without a cap, it's reading 682. <coughs> so we're going to read the height between here a little bit higher and a little bit lower. You don't want to do a lower, a too, too low uh, position because you start reading the edges of the bottle and then it creates another problem. So we're going to set up this to, I'm going to go into mode. We're going to go to one blinking. It's going to be your upper section of the, of the second output. And I'm going to set it up to 6, let's call it 688. See how the output tool light came on? And then the lower part, you can just do 640. You can play with it a little bit if you have any issues. So after that, the sensor should be ready to work, okay? So we have top area, one blinking, one non-blinking, 900, two, 704. So between 900 and 704, you get a reject. And then between 688 and 640, you get another reject. Here, we're gonna do a, a few tests. I'm gonna put a bottle, no cap. bottle would properly capped 
and a loose cap. When you're reading this, there's on delay and off delay settings that we set up in the factory because it's different reading this than reading the, just this edge. If you're running into any problems, we would have to guide you on how to play around with the uh, delays.